Hello, welcome back to Hope Scope. No, come just do Leo. No, you can't do that. This is not the angle that I want. So, life update. I was gonna wear this shirt, and then I realized it's probably a little too sexy, so I was gonna change. But plot twist, I can't get it off. It's stuck forever. See? Just doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> so you get this cute little yellow number instead to just cover that right up. If you've never ever been here before, I'm Hope, your legging queen. No, just for a minute. Okay, can't even see your eyes. We're your number one source for all things fit fashion. If you've been creeping on this channel for a while and haven't hit the subscribe button, we need to talk. Because I was looking at our analytics the other day and 65% of you aren't subscribed. I can't pay for Leo's food unless you hit that subscribe button. Yeah. But the fun part is that it's free for you to do it. So I'm just gonna take a moment and let you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Okay, today I have a Gymshark review, which I am stoked for because I haven't done one of these in a hot minute. And no, it's not because I hate Gymshark. It's not because I'm biased because I buy from other <clears throat> activewear companies. In fact, I don't think there's anything in the Legging Queen handbook that says I can't like all activewear companies. But let me tell ya, I am a live hard die fan. What? For all of their seamless long sleeve tops. Also the original flex leggings, which is why I'm extra stoked for the high-waisted flex leggings they're coming out with. The main reason that I stopped doing these videos though is because everybody's doing them. Gymshark pays their athletes to do reviews like this weeks before the stuff comes out, so I feel like I don't need to anymore. But I just felt like it was time. So I've got some new stuff. I thought I had a lot more than this because I spent a lot of money. <laughs> As always, everything that I talk about is going to be linked down below in the description box. No, I don't get paid. No, this is not sponsored if you hadn't gathered that already. And I do have all my measurements down there as well if you want to use those for reference. Alright, we're just going to start by addressing the elephant in the room, which is the fact that this one's already opened. And I already took a picture in it. <laughs> this is from the new Illusion collection. This is the only thing that I got from the collection because I wasn't a huge fan of the other designs. One of the features that I really like about most of their full length tops is that they have this little sticky guy on the inside hem. Sizes extra small through extra large. I got a small, pretty standard just what I get in all my Gymshark tops. I don't know if I just gained a lot of weight or if this runs small. I'm gonna err on the side of it runs small because all of their other tops that I get in smalls fit fine. But the fabric is awesome. It's made from literally like a legging material. It's really breathable and stretchy and moves with you. This is $30, which I feel like is a good price for what this is. I feel like it's gonna hold up really well. Moving on to the Borg pullover. It looked very big birdie but I'm a sucker for yellow, so we're gonna give it a shot anyway. This was $50. Ooh. It feels like a bath mat. This comes in gray and black as well. Midriff cropped. Look, I'm all for crop tops, but I just really struggle with this whole cropped coat trend that's happening because it defeats the purpose of a coat. I don't know about the drawstrings. You know what I feel like in this thing? When you guys were kids, did you ever see that show that was like, Boobahs or this is that's what I feel like. I don't know about the length, guys. It hits right at the top of your legging, so it's definitely not a crop. Oh, that's weird. What do you think? Should I keep it? I'll just keep it on the rest of the video and figure it out. Next, we have the camo collection. I didn't like the last seamless collections. I didn't like the fabric, they just felt kind of stiff. I had two pairs of one energy and one ombre rip. It didn't matter if I sized up, sized down. I just was not a fan. So these ones are supposedly different and also they're expensive. I remember the good old days where you could get a pair of Gymshark leggings for 38 or $40. These are 60. So I just need to know that the quality is worth paying that extra price. I went with the sage green. There's also black and lavender. Okay, this is not like the other seamlesses. It's actually closer to the material that the flex leggings are made out of. I'm so happy. We're gonna start with the top. I really like that this camo pattern is subtle. This is a midriff crop. So kind of like the hoodie, it's not like a crop crop. Kind of hits like below your rib cage. Long enough to show just like a sliver of skin above your leggings, which I am a fan of because I'm tall. It has this ruche detailing on the chest, which I'm not a huge fan of. I feel like it looks a little tacky. I don't know. I just feel like it would have looked cleaner if they would have kept that off. All right, on to these $60 leggings. I don't know about this. This. 
So these are made from a nylon polyester elastane. I'm just saying most of my experiences with leggings that are mostly nylon hasn't been great, but we'll see. Insert squat test here. <laughs> I'm also interested to see how the waistband fits. Oh, and then I also got the crop top in black because what? Because it's cute. I'm not mad that I did that. All right, it's test day of the camo set. My YouTube room is in shambles, so please ignore that. Here it is. Normally when I wear a set like this, I'll wear like a pattern top and a plain bottom or vice versa. I don't usually wear a pattern on a pattern. Let me know what you think though. Would you wear all of this camo at once? I mean, I already knew I'd like the top because I'm a huge fan of their seamless tops. This one has a slightly different feel to it. I'm actually surprised at how flattering this little ruching is now that it's on. The neckline is perfectly cut. Sometimes these tops can cut really high on the neck and I feel like I'm suffocated. And the back is really pretty actually. It looks kind of weird with my sports bra, but you know. All right, the leggings. I don't know if it's because my butt's just so big that it stretches the ruching out so it's not super noticeable, but uh, I don't really notice it. I love the waistband. It's super compressive and flattering. I think if the leggings were too big, you'd still kind of get the weird bunching, but these ones fit me pretty well. Did you take pre-workout? I can tell. <laughs> I'm gonna go to my body pump class because not only is it my favorite workout, but it's my favorite workout to test active wear. Also a sneaky peek of some stuff that's launching today. These launched in two colors, full length and cropped length. Floofy woof hoodies, joggers. You guys are gonna love the joggers. Tyler, do you like this outfit? Yeah, 10 out of 10 recommend. Let me tell you what I adore about this class. These cute little weights clip onto the ends of these fancy bars with ease and convenience. Each muscle group track is choreographed to music, which is just a blast. You know when you're just going about your merry way and you have the swift realization, hey, something feels wrong, just off, not right. That became one of those moments. And then it dawned on me. The teacher was missing. 10 slow minutes crept past the hour and I decided to pass the time by taking creepy, not so sneaky videos of myself in my cute outfit. My classmates were getting restless. Some were picking up and leaving. Could this be the end of Tuesday 9 a.m. body pump class as we know it? Keep watching to find out. In an awkward attempt to cut through the tension and maybe make a gym friend, I asked a girl that looked like the Britney Dawn Fitness. Hey, do you just want to teach our class today? I'm she said no. Realizing the teacher was never going to show and soon I'd be the last man standing in the group fitness room, a little hope scope wandered out into the lone and dreary gym. I found a treadmill and started running. I'm not very fast, but we don't need to talk about that. I also tried to get some cool action shots of me running like the Fitzbo girls do, but those angles just really were uncomfortable for everybody involved. After about four and a half minutes of that foolishness, I accidentally ripped out the safety key. Nothing puts a damper on an already bad run quite like disabling the machine. I exited the treadmill and found my way to my first true cardio love, the Stairmaster. Once again, I tried to get some sick angles, but did not prevail. It wasn't long before I'd had enough of that too, so I made a move into the weight section. Can I work out with you, please? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I can do that. Yeah, wow, look at it. It's growing by the second. I never realized how much room people need to film for YouTube workouts. Look at the beautiful snowy day. Alright, final thoughts. Felt like it was really functional, really flattering. In fact, a girl came up to me when I was working out and she was like, I just have to tell you that your bum is so nice. And I was like, my mom is so nice, Susan? And she was like, no, your bum. And then we giggled about it. I feel like I was getting a good sweat on and you couldn't even tell. It wasn't see-through, was it? No, I checked. It's not like a set that I necessarily feel like I need to go back and buy every single color in, but I'll definitely wear this one again. Back to you, Leo. Leo! Okay, see ya. Run into his favorite person. Update. After wearing this for a while, I don't think I'm gonna keep it. Do like the yellow though, and do like the color. So Gymshark, if you're watching this, please make a full length version. Okay, bye. That's all that Leo and I have for you today. Will you at least come and say bye? If you like Leo and I's reviews, please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Cause like I said, a lot of people are doing them these days. That's why I usually do like my own little weird things lately. Leo and I love you. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Say bye YouTube.